What is going on guys? Welcome to week number eight and nine of my program progress. Feels like it's been forever since I made a video, but I think it's only been a couple of weeks, so not too long. So for those of you who are just joining and who have no idea what this series is about, I am doing the Buff Dudes 12 week program, and each week I check in with you guys, I tell you guys uh, the ups of the week, the downs of the week, uh, any PRs, how things are going, how the program is going, um, and anything that I learned. So I just kind of check in with you guys uh, for the week. And uh, yeah, so I've completed week nine, so I only have three weeks to go until the end of the program, which is completely crazy to me that I have uh, been doing this for almost three months. Super crazy. I don't think I've stuck to anything for this long, um, probably ever. So it's kind of, kind of a cool thing. Weeks eight and nine, the reason why they're combined uh, is because I've had a vacation smack dab in the middle of those weeks. So. Uh, that's why it's been a couple of weeks since I've made a video. But before I went on vacation, I was able to get four days of my workout in uh, for week eight, which was really good. Um, the the last day that I did was the day before we left for vacation, and it was supposed to be a shoulder day, and I'll have to say that I ended up doing nothing but a deadlift day. Uh, reason being was I had a really bad day at work, and um, it was kind of a frustrating day for me. Uh, I, I was actually late getting out of the office and all that frustration. I decided to go to the gym and do a, uh, a deadlift day. I was very glad that I was able to actually do nothing but a deadlift day because I was able to really focus on my form, my breathing, my approach, and everything like that. And I did try a couple of new things. Um, I don't know if you guys have watched Max Tuning do deadlifts or not, but sometimes he gets really pumped up and he kind of like you just the way he breathes and then the way that he approaches the bar really quickly and just and kind of explodes and, and lifts the bar um, so I ended up trying something somewhat similar as far as being a little bit more explosive in approaching and uh, lifting the bar and it ended up being uh, a really good thing for me I got all the way up to 210 pounds and I did that for two reps so I was really happy with that I was able to bump up my uh, PR by five pounds so not a huge bump but at least it's something and it's progress so I was very happy with that and then we went on vacation and I had every intention of working out on vacation I truly did I even packed workout clothes uh, but we ended up getting up early pretty much every day to do some sort of excursion or activity or something. So um, I did not get any workouts in, but I did stay active. Uh, there were, the place that we stayed had a lot of, uh, had a lot of stairs, so I climbed the stairs a lot. And uh, we went zip lining, which you zip to one side, you ended up having to like hike a little bit up the mountain to get to your next spot. So there was a lot of things that we did that ended up being uh, pretty active. So I'm okay with that. And then upon coming home, I uh, was start of week nine. I ended up needing to take a couple of days off from the gym because my stomach was not right when I got home. I think I had a little bit too much stomach acid going on and so I wasn't feeling very well. Um, and then by the third day, I still wasn't feeling 100% but I went to the gym anyway. Ended up doing squats and got up to 175 pounds and did that for three reps. So very exciting. Uh, weeks eight and nine were, ended up being pretty good weeks. Um, even though I didn't get all five days of either week, uh, I debated on whether or not I wanted to maybe do week nine over or if I wanted just to continue and go ahead and start week 10. And I ended up just deciding to continue to start, you know, to start week 10. I feel physically that I'm okay enough that I can continue on um, and that I don't need to repeat a week. So, you know, in doing these programs, like especially this one, you're adding a day each phase. You know, like phase four that I'm in now is six days a week. I'm gonna be honest and say, I don't really know if I can do six days a week just because of my life, my schedule and everything else. Um, but you know what, you try the best that you can and you do as much as you possibly can and, um, and accept that and don't beat yourself up over it. So, um, so yeah, weeks eight and nine were actually good weeks. Uh, food wise, I knew going on vacation that I was going to an all-inclusive all and so I knew that there was going to be food galore, food and drink galore um, at this place and I was okay with that. I, When I left I decided that I'm going to set my intention uh, for the trip 
and what my intentions were were that I'm going to relax I'm going to enjoy myself and my goal was to at least maintain my weight that was my ultimate goal was to at least maintain um, but I also gave myself about a two pound buffer because I did know that I wasn't going to be as active and that there was going to be a lot of food and a lot of alcohol um, on vacation and so I did give myself that little bit of buffer and um, honestly guys it was it was good it was a good week um, I came back and uh, gave myself a couple days to kind of get acclimated to things and I gained one pound so I'm pretty happy with that uh, I'm not too upset that I gained a pound I'm actually already on my way to losing that pound that I gained so I'm okay with that and you know I think when you set your intention in in you mentally prepare yourself for whatever it is now I'm not gonna go in there and be like oh I'm gonna gain five pounds and that's my intention that's that's ridiculous but by saying you know what I at least want to maintain but I'm gonna give myself this buffer because I know the situation that I'm in I was able to actually kind of really focus on my relationship with food and did a lot of intuitive eating while we were there um, I never ate unless I was hungry and I didn't overdo it um, I did enjoy myself and I did try different things and I did you know have the things that I wanted to have however I didn't feel like I went so overboard that it was you know just ridiculous uh, I think honestly where that pound came from is is alcohol based but um, that's a whole nother story and that's vacation and we'll keep it there but all in all it was a good couple of weeks uh, I feel like um, I'm progressively getting better I can't actually wait I've actually started uh, week 10 already and I can't wait to tell you guys about week 10 because um, I feel like it something clicked for me and I uh, I just can't wait to tell you um, but anyway week number eight and nine doing well I did gain a pound I'm already starting to lose that pound a couple of PRs deadlift PR of 210 uh, squat PR of 175 yeah, everything is uh, Everything's going well. Every, everything is 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 going well, and I'm happy with my progress. I'm happy with how things are going. I'm already kind of thinking of the next steps, like what's happening after this program. And, um, so I do have some things in the works for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and if you want to continue to follow me for the last three weeks, hit that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys next week.